Hello, in this tutorial I am going to show you the repercussions of giving the standard server admin out to your friends and people that you know that you want to have admin abilities in a server. I understand that dealing with permissions is not the easiest thing in the world. But when you know what you're doing or you've got a little guidance, you can set things up to be very secure. However, by default, people don't usually do this. And what they do is they're the server owner and they have some friends come in and they give them the same level of server admin as they have because all they see is server admin. There's nothing else with admin, so oh, we'll give them server admin. Well, the problem with this is there's all kinds of insidious things that somebody could do and you would probably never realize it until it's too late so if you go ahead and go to settings go to options and under the application section make sure you've got advanced permission system enabled now I've just given this other admin guy here the server admin server group so technically he's the same capability level as me being the server owner so, let's say this other admin guy is perhaps a little shady or maybe tensions are kind of mounting and he thinks that maybe something might happen and he might get his admin removed. There are things that he could do to try and get his admin back. Uh, so what I'm going to show you here is if he right clicks himself, goes to permissions and then client permissions, what you could do here is go to group, modify, and give himself 75 power for member add, 75 power for member remove, and then come into client and give himself 75 client permission modify. So what this means is that now, let's say the guy banned seven people for no reason and we don't want him to have admin anymore because we don't trust him. We right click him and we take away a server admin that should be the end of it right well he already added the permissions to his identity itself so right now he can just right click himself and put his server admin back on or he could hide the fact that he has server admin by leaving it disabled 99 percent of the time or for example he could just right click you and take your server admin away and now you are screwed so that's one way that the guy could get admin and there's a way you can test this by right clicking on the guy if you've got the advanced permissions enabled and go to permissions overview and then you can click on client and go to other admin because that's his name and you can see here that he's got group member add remove and client modify of 75 for each that is anomalous. He should not have that. So then you could go and do something about that and restrict those and take them away and that kind of thing. However, there are other things that he could do. He could pick a channel that people don't use very often. Let's say the AFK channel. He could go in there. Oh, we've got to give him his admin back first. All right. So he can go into the AFK channel, go to channel permissions, and he could edit the permissions on this channel so that anybody inside the channel will have member remove an ad power of 75 and a client permission modify of 75. So now, if we come out of that, we'll take the guy's admin away and we will go to client permissions, show any permission that's been granted, remove them all. So now the guy doesn't have admin because we've taken it away and we've taken away his client permissions that we've found. But since he's in the AFK channel, he can just give himself server admin again and then go back in and give himself client permissions again. So the only way you could detect that is to go through on the channel permissions and highlight this one where it says show only granted and go through from channel to channel 
until you get through and find holy crap what is on this channel and then you find out group member add remove and client modify that's anomalous that shouldn't be there you should never have something like this on a channel so then you would remove these permissions and deal with the person as usual so let me remove these so we remove those that's fine but there are other things he can do for example so you've seen that you can right click a guy and check the permission overview to see what he's got well another really insidious thing they could do is they could go into a channel like AFK right click on themselves go to permissions and then channel client permissions now what this is instead of a client permission which is anywhere they go in the server they have that surgically attached to their identity everywhere they go but with a channel client uh, permission they have it only when they're in that channel so since we're now checking his channel client permissions for for him inside the AFK channel because that highlights whichever one you've clicked so now we are to group modify add remove and give client permission modify so now if we decide to take this guy's admin away oh, take his admin away and so he's in another channel we can tell that he doesn't have admin and we can check the permissions overview and there's no shenanigans going on here he doesn't have any client permissions so as far as you are aware it's all safe he doesn't have admin anymore you can leave him alone you don't have to ban him because now he doesn't have any power anymore until he goes into the AFK channel which now he's got his powers again and he can take away your powers because he got it from this channel so if you were to check him if we give the server owner his powers back if you were to check him while he's in this AFK channel you would see uh, let's see channel groups channel client there we go so under channel client you can see he's got these permissions but the only way you can see this is if he's actually in the particular channel at the time that he's stashed away these permissions in which if he's smart he would hardly ever use that channel unless it's an emergency and he wants to troll somebody or like take someone's admin away or ban someone from the server while, while other admins aren't on to catch him doing it so this is extremely difficult to detect because it's only in the one channel so there are multiple things that can be done and for example um, what another thing that's pretty insidious that they could do is when you ban somebody usually they can't come back into the server but if this guy edits the server entrance goes to the permissions for it and then goes to client admin is it here or is it under another section ignore bounds so let's say because now he's just done that to the the actual default channel for the server called server entrance so this guy's done something we don't like and we take away his admin let's say he hasn't put any other permissions in channels or any other sneaky things and now we want to ban him so we right click him and go to ban client boom now he is permanently banned and we can check the ban list there he is there's his identity there's the IP address he's gone but because he altered that default channel he can connect in because since everybody starts off in this channel to begin with and we've assigned the permission of ignore bans anybody who's been banned from the server can automatically connect and get into this channel which means effectively they get back into the server even though they've been banned so you can ban them again and they can still come straight back because that setting has been put on the channel so 
there are multiple things going on here and if you haven't locked down the permissions all of these can be done at any time and you would have no idea that it was being done so the only way you can really prevent this is when you first set your server up right click the server admin and hit copy and then make a duplicate and call it something else like secondary admin and then what you need to do is you need to go through these permissions inside here and reconfigure them so that somebody still has a lot of power but they can't hijack your server so I have another video which will be linked up in the description for this one that goes into more detail about going through various different permissions but the, the bare essentials that you would need to change really are if you go here to modify for the group member add power remember to click the secondary admin you want to put this to 74 and remove the grant permission because grant permissions are what lets people edit things and assign permissions to various areas so we'll take away some of the power for add power and remove power for groups and take away the accompanying grant permission then we will go to information under groups and prevent them from being able to even see into the area to deal with channel client permissions channel permissions or client permissions because if they can see these types of permissions they can go in and start adding secretive things as I've just shown you so that will prevent them from doing that um, then what you should do is go to client and change their client permission modify power to 74 so they can't mess around with you because you have a, a requirement of 75 and a power of 75 but they will only have a power of 74 and a requirement of 74 so now they can't go modifying you and removing or adding groups to you and then there is another one uh, where is it There's a permission on here to create login uh, query, server query login, but I need to find it. Um, there we go. Create a server query account. You want to take that off and get rid of the grant permission because this right here will let them go in using commands in a terminal and you don't want them doing that so take that off so now they can't create a server query account they can't go adding and removing permissions which are above them for example server admin because their actual ability to add and remove groups has been crippled as you see we changed it to 74 and this group both of them require 75 in order to be able to add them or remove them so they don't have sufficient privileges so there's oh there's one more thing um, you can actually delete people from the database which gets rid of all of their permissions and abilities so right here delete client database properties if you get rid of that and get rid of the grant permission that will prevent them from being able to find someone in the server go to list all clients and then right click on them and delete them because once they delete somebody they don't exist and they have no more ability to do anything in the server it would be like they connected for the very first time so those are a few ways that a server can be hijacked um, and used for purposes of permanent trolling and a few things you can do to detect those activities and a few things you can do to prevent them from occurring. Thank you.